it's Helena Bogosian here. I say thank you to you and your students, first of all, for asking me to answer some questions for you. Well, I think the easiest way for me to do that is to show you an actual current assignment that I have right now. It's for Highlights Magazine, and um, they had wanted me to do an illustration for them, and what they did in this case is they sent me a clip art of an illustration that they like to see. They wanted to see some vegetables in a basket, and that's how they gave me that particular assignment. So the first thing that I do is I get sculpting, so I get my clay, I get my tools, and I start making individual clay pieces. For example, I made some asparagus, some tomatoes, and I made some carrots and other things for the illustration. Then, this will, this will seem magical, then once all my clay work is done, I assemble it all into a 3D piece. When this is done, I set it up um, and I get my camera and I set up the lighting and I set up the focus and everything else and then I take a picture of it and that picture goes to the editors. The editors review it and they tell me what they want changed, what they don't want changed and we work on it until it looks perfect and then it's published. So that is the 3D illustration process. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you could do it, just use your imagination. But um, one way that I find works well is if you take um, a CD case. This had a disc in it at one time, but I think they actually sell these plain. So you can get yourself one of these and then with clay, with polymer clay, with model magic, um, any sort of clay that you have or you like to work with, you could create some characters. In this case, this is actually from a student. I did some things for an aquarium and she created some fish and some seaweed and some coral. There's a little baby fish there. Okay, and when it's done, you just close it up and you have your own little clay illustration that way. So it's fun, and if you use model magic, if you use an air drying clay, you can keep it forever. Okay, so that's one way that you can do it. Okay, question two says, of how you make one of your sculptures, and you include a little demonstration. That's totally not even what it said. 